Well, and here we discuss about forex trading live trade chart analysis and welcome to another video so in this video we'll be going through our past week trade analysis and also i will share with you guys on um, some of the trades i take and what is our next week analysis or what i'm going to expect from the next week or what is my forecast for the next week right so without further delay let's jump right into our today's content so i hope you guys have watched my last video where i was explaining all the reason not the reason I would say showing you guys like I reached one of my account which I was holding for close to 88 days 200k night challenge it is quite devastating to how to how to say to go through all this space but it was a quite challenging week for me well and if you watch my previous week analysis video our analysis was for the market to move up which in Monday it did but it was kind of a, a false move to the upside the market trade lower and keep uh, trending lower for the rest of the days right so this is what happened in the uh, past week uh, so I will go to the chart and I'll share with you guys on in detail like what happened so these are the trades that we took Monday we booked the profit so it was a good day for us Tuesday we started losing so the mistakes or uh, why I placed the trade on Tuesday at uh, CPR because I was expecting the market is already trading up on CPR I was expecting the CPR to be a uh, level of uh, support if the market wants to trade higher my expectation was market will be respecting this line but it didn't happen because there was a fair value as well weekly pivot or weekly fair value so i was expecting the market to trade higher from there but it didn't happen as you can see the market trade lower and the sad part is i ended another trade as well on that particular day when the market was trading higher the trade was actually going quite well about 20 pips uh, in our favor that means it was close to one is to one but I was holding to the trade expecting the market to trade higher but what happened is market reversed all the way take out all both of my dispositions and I lose 1% 1% 2% over here which is the trade which I win over here so I lose 2% I win 1% so oh sorry win 2% lose 2% so I'm at break even at that point of time then the market um, came down and it was consolidating over here at the previous week low so I was expecting the market to trade higher from the previous week low because showing some rejection the market was trading lower slowly so I placed a trade and it was going well same it it trade above 1 is to 1 profit but rejected at the CPR and trade lower take me out so at this point of time I'm down negative 1 percentage my view for the market was it was trading at the previous week low expecting the market to show some kind of a uh, push towards upside why because it was quite seen quite difficult the market to trade lower and immediately after taking me out market retrace back to this point and this trade was quite unnecessary this trade and as well as this trade right? these two trades quite unnecessary trades I took and I have no explanation on all these things uh, I was ex I mean it is actually my explanation at that point of time was market will respect this low and uh, will trend lower but think about um, this perspective usually if I am trading I will never place a trade when I'm uh, when the market is uh, I will not watch the market and place the trades I mean I'm, I'm like uh, that is something which I don't do it's not according to my trading plan so I didn't follow my trading plan last week on these two trades which I lose a good 2% so at this point of time I'm down 2% yeah so Wednesday is over then the Thursday actually I just took only one trade now you can see there's two positions the reason being there's a two position I split that position into two because that there was a two pos two areas over here as you can see there was a previous week low as well as CPR so I was scared that the market may tap into any of those and trade higher so that's why I split my position into two which is I risk half a person half a person for this trade but uh, idea was to risk one percentage but I split into two and make it into two trades but uh, sadly market trade lower take me out on this position as well currently I'm down three percentage in particular this week right now then the last trade on Friday which is on the Jerome Paul then the Fed chair chairman Jerome Paul speaking as well as the ECB uh, chairman uh, also uh, President Lagarde speech was also on the same day so as you can see which is the trade I mean I already placed only one trade with risking half a percent what happened is market wigged me out and hit the target take profit so this can happen also I mean quite frustrating to see but it is what it is right so in this overall week we lose about 3.5 percentage if you recall my past week I lose 6 percentage I was up 3 to 5 percentage in my accounts but right now at the point of time I will show you I'm down negative 7.5 percentage let it load okay 
okay so as you can see this is what happening in my account right now from here all the way up we are climbing i mean we are going all the way steep down all the way now i'm down 7.55 percentage of this particular account lot of uh, quite a bad week for me i lose my i mean if you recall in this particular month of august i lose my e8 funding 100k account i lose my 200k night challenge which is three days ago which i posted this video if you haven't watched that you can watch that i'm explaining all the trades i take and whatsoever i deep dived i understand the mistakes that i took actually not just for that particular challenge or for all this uh, for the past two weeks i i see that why i've been uh taking some trades which is out of my trading plan so this is why from the next week onwards which is the upcoming week i'll be risking only half a percent and i'm taking only one trade a day so you will only see me putting one trade a day I'm, i'll not be placing two trades or three trades, just a trade one trade so i'm risking only half a percent so i'm giving at least a, a chance for my account to come back at least negative five percentage or negative four percentage for me to gain back the confidence and start trading properly so i'll be risking half a percent to make one percentage i can be if it's a good week i'm making about close to good five percentage and i'm back to negative two percentage then i'll be risking one percentage again but till then until i am negative two percentage in the overall account that means my account is 98k the equity is 98k i'll be risking half a percent and i'll be risking i'll be taking only one trade per day so that is my plan moving forward right so this quite frustrating i know but it is what it is this is what will be uh, i mean this is what uh, i'll be doing for the uh, upcoming week according to my this is my strategy this is my game plan for the next week which is one trade a day also risking half a percentage trade. now let's see the analysis or the chart analysis of how the charts look like i went to another chart okay so it's easier for us to easier for us to um how to say easier for us to evaluate eva easier for us to analyze and whatsoever so it's everything is already over here so i just need to go back we need to go to the higher time frame first in order for us to understand what is happening in overall trend or the what is the trading bias so as you know already if you see all these lines and don't get overwhelmed this is a weekly uh, swing um, how to put it the swing um, how to put it swing trading i'm not saying swing trading it's not swing trading it's a uh, uh swing highs and swing lows for the week i cannot even say like what is this thing which i draw so it's basically swing highs and swing lows. so what makes it a swing high basically this is the area or this is the top level or the area from where market got rejected and went to the opposite direction all the way so that's what i will call as a swing uh, high or a swing low because the market got rejected from there and went all the way to the other side that means from a a uh, higher high market made a lower low so basically that's what i will call as a swing high if that's a point and uh, vice versa as well if the market made a lower low then made a higher high that lower low will be a swing low and the high will be a swing high so that's how i mark usually and that's what it is so in weekly chart i've marked all my swing highs and swing lows so this will be the major levels which i'll be looking into the market and i mean i'll be looking where, what is the market is going to do and the market is going to reach those level and as you can clearly see market has reached one of those major levels as you can see right the market is already over there at that exact place right so i'm very excited i'm closely watching the market what what is going to happen on a weekly if i had to look on a weekly basis what is happening in the market if i had to look closely what is happening actually market is making a higher high low low high high higher low higher high possible higher low trade higher so this is this can this can happen as well right so this is something that we've been expecting for the past few weeks so if this this is the major level as well if the market is going to retrace from here then it will be great it will be a really good run it will take all these highs and it will go higher so weekly i can say the market is bullish on a weekly trend on an overall trend we can see the market is trending higher so if i go to daily what is happening in the market i will have a different opinion so i'm going to come closer i'm not going to watch it in that sense so i will come closer to see so what's happening was the market was trending higher as you can see the market was trending higher to the higher high higher low made a higher high then break that uh, previous highs then made a, a lower low then lower high lower low lower high lower low and market is here so 
currently what is happening in a daily is market is having a shift in the structure of the market itself market has a break a previous structure when we when we say a previous structure is broken is when the market broke a particular level which is very important in the market right which you can see over here a very important level means a previous high is broken or a previous low is broken as you can see a previous swing is already broken in a weekly time frame which is okay the market is trading lower we are expecting okay if the market is going to show a different market structure in daily time frame and in daily time frame also market is showing a bearish structure at this point of time so i will write over here as where is it yeah i write over here as weekly is bullish but daily is bearish so i hope it's clear quite straightforward that's why i even draw with this um, markers to identify what is what is happening and let's go to four hours and see what is happening in a four hour chart and if you look at it for sure you will see the same thing which uh, in a detailed form from what you see in the daily chart which will be market is making a lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low and market is coming down slowly right so this is what's happening in the four hour chart as well and i will never draw any line support or resistance or whatsoever in a four hour time frame or even even in a one hour time frame you know already because the way i see it only the higher time frames which is let's say weekly daily makes sense rest of it is just uh, i would say it's a noise according to me okay i mean if you are making good money with it it's up to you so four hour is also bearish so which makes it both two of the time frames which shows it's bearish and weekly shows bullish so if you are a trader if you are going to the market and if you are looking at something i mean if i had to look into the market in a neutral opinion forgetting about whatever i did in the market in the past week if i had to look in a neutral opinion clear the chart and look at it plainly i can see the market is trending towards the downside right even the market is in an important level important support level possible support level but according to me the market is um, bearish because of the both the time frames are in sync saying that the market is going down right now yes interesting okay we will watch so what 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 am i expecting i'm not expecting the market to trade lower just like that it is not going to happen right it will definitely give a false break like what it did on last monday remember the market trade higher in the last monday and everyone is like okay the market is going to go up it's going to break the structure but what happened market reversed and uh, take out all those uh, liquidate all those uh, buyers actually all those buying positions buyers everyone's position was liquidated and market was keep trending lower so what i'm expecting i'm expecting a similar thing in the market for the next week because i can see some important levels why what makes it a important level i will go to the daily time frame and show you what makes this level which i mean i a particular zone over here right what makes it a particular or an important level is because you can see the market when the market was trading above this it was acting as a support trade higher broke okay the market came back up it has like as a resistance then break above it and it acts as a what um, resistance now oh, sorry support then it trade higher then came back act as a support trade a bit then and it got broken then the market trade higher act as a support again then trade higher now the market came back to this particular position broken down and the market is below this particular position or particular area so this particular area is or particular zone is quite important for me according to me so i will keep a uh, look into that particular area what is happening in that area when the market is going to go back there so that is why i'll be watching the market quite closely so i am expecting the market to come back over here and i want to see a rejection at this zone so if let's say the monday the market is going to trade higher and tuesday is going to take out that particular high of the market on a monday then we can expect the market to trade lower i mean this is what i would like to see so what i would like to see on monday is the market to trade higher take out uh, i mean just maybe a retrace a bit back towards the london session uh, sorry new york session then the next day the market will open in tuesday it will take out that high false breakout about this about this particular zone and market will trade lower that will be something which i would like to see so if i had to draw it it will be something like this market will try to trade above this and show a false breakout above it then the market on tuesday will try to go and take all this liquidity from the side showing that it's going to go up but then we want is i mean what i'm looking for is market to trade lower take out this particular area come down 
So, if market is going to come down this particular zone, I, I will be looking for a retest of this zone to trade low. So, basically, this is what I am looking for. Quite simple, this is what I am looking for. And if this does not happen, market is not going to trade higher to this particular position, but market is going to trade over here, get a retest at this level and going to trade lower, I will be happy as well. So, that means what I am saying is because as you can see the market already show a support at this level came back over here over here then didn't retest but came close to it then trade lower again close over here I would, I would like to see this market to trade over here then getting rejected and trade lower so how will I know if the market is getting rejected at this zone actually it's quite straightforward we can have a look at the 4 hour chart to see what is happening what is happening we can see in the 4 hour chart so that's why where you will go to a lower time frame to see what is happening right so in a higher time frame i can see this is what i can see and in a lower time frame i will look for my entries which you already know i use cpr to make a trade so i am trying out a different strategy as well i'm not gonna lie but that is with my another account i'll be trying out some other strategies i mean i'm constantly trying to improve trying to see like what works and what is the good things that i want to share with you guys so i will be working on all those things that video will be out soon as well but not very soon because i need to do a lot of back testing i need to do a lot of forward testing and also i'll try to up apply in the market and see if there is a good result before i share with you guys just like the way i did with the cpr so i'm going to work on this particular strategy and i'll update you guys on that particular strategy as well so um you guys can wait for it i'm working on something definitely so my plan for this particular year remains the same i'm going to have that prof firm let's say the funded trader max allocation and funded trader that's what i'm looking for and i will try my very best to ensure that i trade properly i follow my trading plan and i ensure my strategy and everything i do it according to the core to the core of the strategy i will do yeah so that's it guys uh, that's about for this particular week i hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and i hope you guys have a profitable week ahead as well i wish you guys all the best i'll see you guys in the next one until then trade safe